What up? We are obviously out here at Queensland Raceway. Um, the car made it. So update on the brake situation. We actually, I posted up last night on like the e-chassis page and I was like, does anyone have a JDM Master? And Zane Sinclair hit me up. I'm pretty sure it's Sinclair. And hooked me up with a ADM Booster and Master so I can actually put those in now. And then we should be able to have brakes and go drifting. So we're about to jump in the car, change the Master, change the Booster, and then hopefully that works and then we'll go from there. But anyway, the car starts, runs off the trailer. Um, yeah, so hopefully at least get a couple hours driving in. It's going to be super fun. I'm <laughs> excited. It's been a long road. That's a little boy's car. <laughs> Dave out here on the block. Whoa! <laughs> Dave out here on the blog. Get them photos before I ruin the car. Because that'll definitely happen like all everything else I own. Nice. That's me. how this is going to go, but we will find out. I don't even start with
I've ever driven in my life. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, it's definitely missing up top as I reckon. It'll be fucking real. I don't know. I'm pretty sure the fan is broken on that. Right. That's the fan trying to go ahead. So we had a Red Bull break. Let's see if this thing's still hot. Oof. Sizzling now. Yeah, she's definitely still warm, so yeah, we got some work to do. But for now, we're gonna pack up and go home. Okay, so I didn't have any time before we went out, but uh, we went and did some laps. What happened this morning was we put in the new brake booster on, uh, undoing the old master which I literally had undone yesterday, undoing it and the actual line just like snapped, like completely off, like completely snapped. Uh, let me try and find it, oh there it is. Yep, so we had to go into Ipswich and get a new line made up, uh, so that took us like an hour and a half but then putting everything back together, like changed the booster and everything like that. Um, it was literally like probably like 20 past 11 when we got out on track. Uh, morning session finishes at 12 if you don't know. Uh, it's now 11, okay it must have been way later, or oh, way earlier. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm real tired from driving that, that was literally intense. Um, it steers like absolute shit. Uh, these grab a lot, so I think I need a probably a bigger flare on that. I don't really want to raise it. Because I like super love the height it's at at the moment. Oh yeah, as you can see I've painted the front bar too. And they match. Uh, big ups to Phil at uh, Inspirations Paint. Literally looked at my fuel cap and was like, Yeah dude, this colour is definitely an 80s Toyota still. And he just flipped over his paint book and was like, Here you go, there's the colour for you. Um, yeah. So, I'm super sweaty. Today's been super stressful. Um, I don't know if we'll go out and do any more laps, it kind of, it literally sucks so bad to drive and it's got like a miss up top, I don't know if I've found the plugs like starting and stopping it, driving it around like at home, loading on the trailer and stuff like that, so I, uh, I think we'll probably just pack it up, take it home, chuck some fresh plugs in it, sort out the brakes completely, um, yeah it needs a lot of work, but yeah hopefully we get there, uh, it's been yeah intense. And you can see my interior way better here without Dave's head. Oh yeah, Bride Mesh, that one, Sweet Dash, super nothing in there at all. It is incredibly noisy in there when you drive in like, yeah, that was, a, that was an actual workout doing like five laps. Um, yeah, it's going to be really hard to get used to a Corolla again, um, but yeah, I just had a blast. That was so much fun and I think that's probably... Even that, driving how terribly it was, felt way more enjoyable than my JZX90 had for like the last 12 months, so I'm happy with my choice building a Corolla, I'm just super not happy with this Corolla, never working when I try and do anything with it, so yeah, it's been fun. Um, I'm going to have a beverage and then probably load this on the trail and start making our way back home and I think that's it. Anything else, Dave? I'm ready for a nap. We got up at like 5 a.m. this morning and that's way too early for me. Um, all right. Thanks for watching. Um, oh yeah, I'm releasing these new tall tees today because everyone asks me about tall tees all the time and finally I printed some. So 
I think by the time this video is up, the tall tees will be on the website. So if you watch this video and like tall tees, I'm your boy. Um, thanks again. Make sure you comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. The channel's been pumping lately. I'm super excited. Um, yeah, thank you again. Um, it's cool to finally get the Corolla doing some laps, even after fucking around a lot today. <sighs> yep, we're out. Peace. Damn, that's cute. Rad. 90% of the day without my sunglasses, apparently they were down beside the fix back in the Corolla, so... Shout out to me for sorting me out in the future, but not so much this morning. Because I was driving up like this. The whole time. <laughs> anyway. Okay, I think I've closed out this video a couple times, but... We've got the car on the trailer. We're about to take... Two and a half hour drive home, I gotta unload the car, park it, back the trailer up my friggin' single lane driveway, park that, and then go to work tomorrow on Saturday, so... Thanks for watching. Three videos in a row. It was pretty tiring, but we did lots of stuff. It was fun. Um, I might see you guys next week, I don't know, I've gotta find something to do. Actually, I have something in mind. So, I'll see you guys next week.